Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I want to share with you my fragrances from Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. Guys, let me tell y'all something. When I first <laughs> got introduced to these fragrances, I was like, hell no. I'm not spending a hundred and whatever dollars for an EDT because they're all EDT fragrances, eau de toilette. So they don't have a high perfume oil concentration. But guys, I, I could not help it because they smell incredible. They smell so good, okay? And the performance, like surprisingly, is not bad. They're not beast mode. They're not smacking anybody. They're not announcing your presence. They're not built that way. But guys, if you want a fresh, beautiful, smelling scent that's going to last on you for, you know, six to seven hours if you layer and spray heavy, um, then these are the fragrances for you. So if you want to know about Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line of fragrances in my collection, <laughs> then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the red button turns gray. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so as I was saying, the Aqua Allegoria fragrances from Guerlain are all EDTs, okay? So just know that going in, they're not beast mode. Like, so if anyone's gonna ask, no, they're not beast mode. No, they're not gonna last on your skin for 12 hours. However, the scent is undeniably beautiful. You're gonna get at least six to seven hours on your skin. Like I said, layer and spray heavy. If you need to carry a decant, carry a decant. But in the spring and the summer, if you wanna smell fresh and clean, but you wanna smell elevated, you wanna smell rich, you wanna smell different from everybody around you, then these are the fragrances that you need in your collection, guys. I'm telling you, they're definitely worth the price. Are they worth the price? They're not worth all that price, okay? I'm not gonna give them that, but they're beautiful scents. So we're gonna start with one of my, first of all, they're all like my favorites, okay? I'm not gonna say one of my favorites because they're all my favorites. So the first one that we're gonna start with is Coconut Fizz. Coconut Fizz is an aromatic, fruity fragrance. It opens up with coconut, there's bergamot, freesia, sandalwood, tonka bean, and yeah just talk of bean guys so the coconut in this fragrance is a very watery coconut it's so beautiful it's definitely not your sweet um fake very like cloying coconut i love it you know like let's not get it twisted but in this fragrance the experience is not like that and i can appreciate that because all of my other coconut scents are definitely that sweet heavy thick dense type of scent in coconut but this is a watery coconut more like coconut water it also smells like almost like prosecco it has like a coconut prosecco or wine cooler type situation going on with it and i love it guys i'm telling you in the summertime if you want to smell fresh and clean but you still want to have like a coconut scent to you but you're someone that doesn't want something really sweet really loud this is the one for you and guys look at the bottle i just love the bottles of the aqua allegoria line like this whole bee um hive looking situation they're so chic they look beautiful on your vanity you smell rich you smell different but you still smell clean you know what i mean nothing generic you don't smell like a macy's counter or anything like that but you still smell like fresh and clean early in the morning like for me early in the morning guys like these are the fragrances that i reach for fresh scents fresher type of scents scents that's not too heavy not too dense but just smells fresh and clean, but I still want to smell elevated. These are the fragrances I'm pulling for. And Coconut Fizz is beautiful. Coconut Fizz by Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. Next up is Peregranita, right? Yes, Peregranita. Guys, sweet citrus juicy pear. That's what this is. It's so sweet. It's very citrusy. And the juicy pear in this fragrance 
can, come on somebody can i get a witness y'all this is so beautiful if you have this fragrance if you smell this fragrance please leave it in the comments below so that other people reading can get your opinion on this fragrance as well because in my opinion guys it's so beautiful it's definitely blind by worthy if you love citrus if you love sweet if you love a juicy pear this is the one for you it opens up with grapefruit then there's lemon there's bergamot there's that juicy pear, sweet, ripe pear, okay? It's the soft pear, the ones that I don't really like eating. I like the green pears, the really hard ones. But that really soft, brown, like overly ripe pear, that's this. There's orange blossom, there's osmanthus, hedione, white musk, cedar, and moss. <sighs> Guys, let me just go on ahead and spray it on me. But I need room because I'm going to be spraying some other ones too y'all this is so good it smells like a cocktail it smells like something you would drink and to be honest with you i want to say the majority of the fragrances in the aqua allegoria line smells like some form of a summer cocktail some type of a summer drink <laughs> that you want to just consume on like a brunch day or in the evening or something like that these smell incredible and when i tell you this one right here guys was a love at first sniff i smelled this in neiman marcus and was like mm, i need you guys it's incredible it's so beautiful like i said it's an edt it's not gonna smack anybody it's not lasting forever but the scent is undeniably beautiful layer spray heavy spray on your clothes carry a decant if you have to because it's so well worth it trust me when i tell you i paid for all these fragrances with my own coins okay and i'm buying them and i feel like i just i can't stop like i want more the only reason why i would stop buying them is because some of the scent profiles are similar to fragrances that i already have in my collection but the ones that i don't have a scent profile of i'm definitely copying it with no issues because they are beautiful so peregrinita by guerlain's aqua allegoria line next on the list is ginger picante and guys this is the only one in my collection that i feel like i would wear all year round like this can be worn in the spring summer winter i would wear this in the winter definitely fall because it has that ginger note so it makes it a little bit more warm and spicy but you can wear it in the summertime as well and it smells like ginger candy <laughs> okay it opens up with ginger there's bergamot lemon and rose pepper white cedar no white musk and cedar now this has ginger and rose just like my bond um not new york nights my new york so that has a ginger and rose note too they're not similar whatsoever at all like although you can smell the ginger and rose in this like how you smell it in in you know in the bond they're not similar they have you know other notes going on that's making them very different but i will say if you like that type of scent if you love bond my new york then you'll love this as well because like i said it has ginger and rose definitely not as loud and powerful as my new york <laughs> not at all because my new york is a beast <laughs> this one is not a beast but she definitely lasts you smell her now with these fragrances guys i layer with well not these but with this fragrance i layer with my ginger my origin ginger i do a ginger shower routine i use my ginger oil i use my ginger cream i spray this in my hand i spray it all over my body i spray it all over my clothes like let me see if you can see the dent you probably really can't see the dent but guys it's a beautiful scent like i said if you love ginger if you love rose but more of a fresh take on it you know what i mean not super dense and heavy then this is the one you need and you can wear it in my opinion in winter spring summer and fall so ginger picante by guerlain's aqua allegoria line next up we have flora Cherisia, and i hope i'm saying that right but there's a name right there guys okay let me contain myself so do you remember me telling you that i love the watermelon notes and i've been searching for more watermelon fragrances that don't smell juvenile okay juicy has a watermelon scent too and it is nice but i feel like i want a watermelon scent that smells grown and sexy okay period i have my dolce my dng um three limb pear trees um what other watermelon scent do i have i feel like i don't have many watermelon scents so this came into my life 
And guys, I could not be happier. If you love the scent of a fresh, juicy watermelon, you need this. Period. This is so beautiful. It opens up with watermelon. And can I tell you, the watermelon lasts the entire time in this fragrance. Like seriously, it's an EDT and the watermelon is not going anywhere. It actually dries down and becomes a little bit more intense in my opinion. So it opens up with watermelon. There's bergamot, cherry blossom. There's pear again, okay? There's rose, white musk, violet, and woody notes. Guys, I wore this the other day. We went to dinner on the lake and it was like we went to see the sunset. And when I tell you, like the mood... I didn't get a compliment or anything like that, but just sitting there looking at the beautiful lake, just, you know, looking at my surroundings and feeling blessed, looking at the beautiful sunset and smelling this on me. Guys, you can tell me anything, okay? This right here, it's just a mood. It's such a vibe, guys. It's so beautiful. It smells rich. It smells different. I just love this, but it still smells fresh and clean at the same time. It's so beautiful, guys, and I'm so happy that I have it. I hope I'm saying it right. It's Flora Cherisia, and everything is going to be linked down in the description box below. Next up, we have Limon Bird, and as you can see, this is the smaller bottle, guys. Let me show you in comparison to the larger size. So this is a larger size and this is smaller, but it's not really that small, but it's definitely smaller than the larger one. Now, if you live in a hot climate or if your summers get scorching hot, what are you doing without this fragrance in your collection? This is the hot weather fragrance king, in my opinion. Guys, this smells so beautiful. Like... <laughs> First of all, let me just tell you the notes. It opens up with lime. There's green notes and it does smell a little bit green, but as you all know, like when it's hot, you wanna smell green notes, not anything super sweet and sticky that's going to you know, make you feel hot, you know what I mean? There's fig, there's sugar cane. If you're in the Caribbean, if you're from the Caribbean, you know how sweet sugar cane is, but it's definitely fresh at the same time and watery at the same time. Like I can literally see myself sitting on somebody's veranda in Jamaica, chewing on a sugar cane with the like the juices like dripping down the side of my face. And then there's tonka bean in the base. So the tonka bean is going to help it to last on your skin for about six hours, like without having to spray again, you're still going to smell it. And let me say this, these aren't skin scents. Okay. They're not wearing close to your skin. They just don't last super duper long because they are EDTs, but they're by no means skin scents. I have EDPs that are skin scents. Okay. This is not a skin scent. People smell it on you and the sillage and the scent trail that these fragrances leave. I find that with a lot of citrus fragrances or fragrances that have a lot of citrus notes in them, they leave a beautiful trail. Like, I don't know what it is, but the trail that the citrus fragrances are leaving is like no other. And this is no different, guys. Like I said, hot weather king. If you want to feel cool, if you want to feel like fresh and clean if you've been outside for hours and it's hot and sticky and you're sweating and you smell this guys it's just gonna combat the sweat and the stickiness and it smells amazing you want to smell this in the hot heat in the summer this is you being outside at brunch sitting outside i don't know about you guys but in the summer in the spring i just want to sit outside the only time i want to go inside the restaurant is when i have to use the restroom but other than that i'm sitting outside like i want to sit under the breeze under the trees under a little bit of shelter you can have an umbrella but i want to be outside and for me fragrances like this sitting outside having lunch or breakfast it's a vibe, okay? And you're not smelling like anybody else. You're smelling expensive. You're not smelling like the Macy's kind of, like I said. Although, you know, there's plenty of times that I smell like that damn counter, but this isn't one of them, okay? <laughs> Limon Bird by Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. And I mean, I feel like you all know it's Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. Why do I keep saying it? So the last fragrance I have in my collection is Passiflora. And guys, I just want you to see that dent. Let me turn it upside down. Now, this one right here, guys, in my whole Aqua Allegoria collection, this is my most 
complimented aqua allegoria fragrance period like real bad like i'm telling you like i get compliments on this fragrance real real bad that's how serious it is with this fragrance guys i don't know what it is actually i do know what it is it smells freaking incredible the notes lemon grapefruit bergamot ylang ylang and orange blossom i mean how simple like honestly guys this fragrance is so beautiful the color of the juice is beautiful it lasts it projects and i never wear this and not get a compliment I wear the other ones and not get a compliment, but I know I smell good, so it doesn't matter. This one right here, I don't know if it projects more or I don't know what it is, guys, but I get compliments on this one all the time. And Bay loves this one on me as well. He actually loves all of them on me. But I'm telling you that this one is a standout one in my collection, and that's why the dent <laughs> looks like this. Because if I wear you and people are like, oh, what are you wearing? And I'm getting compliments. I'm gonna just keep wearing you. Like if I want a compliment that day, I'm gonna wear a fragrance that I'm gonna get a compliment on. Like most likely gonna get a compliment on. Another one guys, same type of order. Sitting outside eating. You can be more dressed up. You can wear this running errands, you know, dressed down. But you can wear this dressed up, elevated. In my opinion, they all lean feminine. There's none of them that lean masculine. I guess they can be considered unisex because I feel like every fragrance nowadays is listed as unisex but and however these these are feminine like they're feminine pretty girl scents to me so passiflora by guerlain's aqua allegory line and i said i wasn't gonna say it anymore now i want to say something really quickly if you guys saw my haul that i did my recent haul um you know with bags and fragrances and things so i had a um aqua allegoria fragrance that i had to return it was mandarin basilic yes and it was in the gift packaging it had the lotion and a small little cute little like tra I could, was that a travel size i don't know it was like a cute little mini bottle of the fragrance now in that video i kept my cool because when i sprayed that fragrance it i didn't have an, like it just sprayed like it wasn't like um what you call it um you know when you buy a fragrance and it's new and you, you know, pump a few times for the fragrance to come out? Like, that's how you know that the fragrance is brand new, you know, other than you ripping it out the cellophane and everything. That fragrance, as soon as I sprayed it, it sprayed. Now, that fragrance wasn't wrapped up in cellophane. It was in a gift box. So somebody sprayed that fragrance. Took it back to Neiman Marcus and I told the sales associate I was going to exchange it, but all of them, like, none of them were in... A cellophane so i'm like you know what i'm not even gonna risk it and that's when i got the i exchanged it for the flora charisia and i'm so happy because it has a watermelon note and you guys know i've been searching for watermelon fragrances that smell rich grown and sexy okay so that's why i don't have the mandarin basilic anymore but if you can find that fragrance, I mean, it's not discontinued. You will find that fragrance. But if you can get that fragrance not inside of the gift case, get it because it's a very beautiful citrus scent. I just didn't want to deal with it because at my Neiman Marcus, they didn't have it in the single box. And um, yeah, like I don't want a fragrance that's been sprayed already because one, when was it sprayed? It could have been sprayed last year for all I know. So that's going to, you know, speed up the expiration time now that I get it. Take notice of that too, guys. Like if you buy a fragrance and it's not in the um, cellophane and you spray it and it just sprays the first time, that fragrance has been sprayed before and it's probably going to go bad quicker than your other fragrances because who knows when it was sprayed, okay? I say all that to say, we've come to the end of the video. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below and let me know if you own any fragrances from the Aqua Allegoria line. I'm telling you guys, I stand behind them. I haven't smelled an Aqua Allegoria fragrance that was not banging. Like, I haven't smelled one that I didn't like. They all smell beautiful. There's a rose one that, you know, it kind of smelled like... Gen not generic, but it didn't smell like anything. It just, it was pretty, but it didn't smell like the other ones. Like the other ones just have a little bit more to them. The rose one was pretty, it was more on the basic side, so I didn't get that. But I'm telling you guys, they are beautiful scents. For the summer, Um, they're fresh, they're clean. I just love them. They're everything. So let's talk about it in the comments below. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. 
AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you on my next video. Peace.